Are you still in touch with any of your set? Do you reflect some other time about memories from High Schoolers International Academy? Yes, that we talk about High Schoolers a lot. Yes, I'm in touch with most of my classmates, and we talk about High Schoolers a lot because it's an experience that we never forget and we cherish, and it's how we all met. So of course, we talk about High Schoolers. Yes, we are still in touch with almost with most of them almost all yeah and we talk about the memories for sure there's no how we meet and we don't talk about memories of high scholars yes of course i'm i'm in touch with um, a lot of my friends especially my male friends um yes i am in touch of with with all of them with most of them and i reflect on the memories we've had in the school in the hostel and all can you share some of your favorite memories or experiences while studying here at High Schoolers International Academy? So, because I've been here for three years, each year was different and each year had its own experience. The first year was when we were getting to know ourselves and it was fun. It was, I loved it. Our classes, even while we were teaching, I loved the method of teaching itself. It was very interactive. Our second year, we had a few new faces and well we introduced them it was it was fun I and mean, we were going out for competitions and all of that and our final year our third year it was bittersweet because we all knew we were leaving so we tried to make the most of our times that we had together but it was very memorable i think it has to be the hostel it has to be the hostel during our SS3. When we wrote GCE, we left, our, we left the school to go to another school and write GCE. Sorry, our ending SS2 and our SS3. When we're writing exams, you know, the feeling is always different. We don't go to classes. We only study and go and write exams. We have most of our free time. Yes, and we had fun. There was this time that we told the director that we were hungry and she gave us money and a driver at the bus to go and buy indomie and come back and cook it in the food and nutrition lab. So <laughs> that was my favorite memory. When we were in the hostel, it was really nice. The when we were in SS3, the hostel moments when we'll be in trouble with the HOD and Mr. Sabla Hakim. <laughs> Those days. <laughs> Honestly. And basically that's just it. How has your education at High Schoolers International Academy influenced your career path and professional achievements? I don't... How? <laughs> the question should be how not? Because in almost everything I do, every decision I end up making, High Scholars had an influence behind it with what they taught us as our sets. Everything we do. I mean, we have halal, we have haram, and they made sure that we understood the magnitude of everything. And in every decision I make, as I said, as scholars, they definitely had an influence. Well, alhamdulillah, I scholars shaped me to the person I am, into the person that I am today. I will forever be grateful for I scholars, the Islamic aspect and the Western aspect because there's something, um, the prayers that um, we normally do after each salah, I still use them and Alhamdulillah it started from ice scholars and the way I address too is something that I'm proud of. Even in the university I know my dressing was very decent up till now so it all started from ice scholars. It's, it's the way ice scholars always guides us and puts us on the right path well my education in high scholars um i'm studying sharia law so um, high school is an islamic school so it has i have i did my hadda here my memorization of the quran so it, it has helped me um with my course it has it has helped me in school um the the, the memorization i did here helped me um, with some islamic courses and alhamdulillah i'm grateful for that hmm. 
I think that you can find my educationally you can find you can learn from anywhere or anything not just in the class because we had a lot of random speeches and educational talks after prayer and so so it wasn't just us going to class that we learned it was also where we were eating where we were just sitting in class during break time anytime and alhamdulillah so far so good everything has been going well because with what i've achieved so far alhamdulillah with like let me see my age and everything is going smoothly alhamdulillah i've not had any hurdle or obstacle before i decided i was like okay how is this going to help me as a muslim be better and then how is it going to help the society if not for ice scholars i would not thought about how it would impact me as a muslim i'd just be like okay how much money am i going to make from this and how is it going to help the society but because of ice scholars made i understand that you need to consider Islam in everything that you do. So I was like, okay, let's see. What can I do? What can I not do? And I chose from my options. I remember when Ustad Sadiq asked me what I was going to study and I said medicine and he asked me what I was going to do with my math. And then I was like, I don't know. So he was like, okay, fine. I can study my medicine, but that doesn't mean that's the only thing I'm going to do. So similar to a chairman, being a doctor and also owning a school just because you have a degree in a certain field doesn't mean that's the only place that is your only source of income or profession how do you envision the future of this school and what role do you think alumni can play in its growth and development yes yeah, so in that aspect hopefully in the future we'll all be successful and we will never forget ice scholars because it all started from ice scholars. Definitely, we will turn back and remember ice scholars. No matter where we are, ice scholars, ice scholars is great, mashallah. <laughs> well, because ice scholars did a wonderful job with us, as you can see. I'd say um, we would contribute greatly to the school because we cherish this institution so obviously we'd want to see its progress and want to see development so in any way that we can we'd be more than happy to help i think the school has done a great job so far but also because when when i was in this school there were a lot of things that we suggested that were not taking that actions but actions were not taking but now that i'm here i can see that's okay so the things that we were talking about or suggesting, they've actually implemented them. So maybe just listen to the students. It doesn't mean you have to give them everything that they want, but sometimes they're actually making good points. But the students should also listen to their teachers, please. Well, um, I think um, I can only hope for, for the betterment of the school. Uh, I cannot see it in future, but I think it would be, it should be better than we left it, inshallah. Uh, and the role um, we the alumni can can play in the betterment of the school, I think, is just to contribute and um, to contribute whenever we are needed to um, answer the call of the school whenever we are needed, whenever we have the time to do so. I think that's the, that's the best we can do. What advice would you give to current students or those considering attending our school? Keeping a good relationship with their teachers. They should always respect their teachers and they shouldn't think that high scholars is like a prison. They should free their minds and do what's right. They, I'm sure everyone knows what's right and wrong. It's left to us to choose the path that, we're, that we want to follow. So I feel they need to always think positive and always think positive of the school and give the school benefit of doubt because no one is perfect and they are trying their best to shape the scholars into good people. Someone already said deep down we all know what's good. We can be stubborn and pretend we don't but we know what is good. We know what we're supposed to do and we know our responsibilities. So let's be smart and think about ourselves and the hereafter. <laughs>
and make our decisions wisely and as i said earlier halal is halal haram is haram so remember that it's clear well i think basically it's just um stay at peace with your um with the staff all of them whether teaching or non teaching stay at peace with all of them you can never know where you'd meet someone tomorrow that is it you can never know how life would turn out to be tomorrow what advice would you offer to parents out there in terms of enrolling their children into high schoolers international academy do it enroll your child do it <laughs> just do it trust me <laughs> That's all I would say. I would advise them to bring their kids to high schoolers because high schoolers are really trying Islamic is um both the Islamic and the western aspect. Nothing should hold them back honestly. They should bring their kids to high schoolers, yeah. Let me know. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Know that you even though high schoolers is doing majority of the work there are still there are still some things that you need to make sure you're teaching your children and some things that you have to remind them that they already learned in school Well parents out there um I think um the teachers here and the school cannot do it alone so obviously you have to follow up with your kids at home with what they are taught in school um follow up see what they are supposed to um know at home and um it has to be hand in hand it has to be hand in hand so inshallah i think that's all thank you sir peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked a peck of <laughs> peter piper picked a what peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Peter Peck. <laughs> Peter. Peter what? <laughs> Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled <laughs> pickled pepper. Peter Pepper picked a peck of pick. Peter Pepper picked a peck of Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Peter Pepper picked a whatever. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. 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 Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pepper. 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 I cannot do that.